you struggle with Lumogroomy? Well, this is a video for you. Kitty cat. Hey guys, it's Kitty Cat Loom here and today is a super, super, super exciting video because I'm going to be doing a full-on beginner's Lumogroomy Guide 101. So this video will comprise of everything you need to know about Lumogroomy in order to get better, to get started, or just to practice in general. So first, we will talk about the introduction to Lumogroomy, all about the hooking process, how to do the magic ring, increasing and decreasing, my recommended designs for when I was starting Lumogroomy, and lastly, how to practice Lumogroomy. But before we get onto the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to become a part of the hashtag Luma Squad, and also give this video a like. Anyways, now let's just get straight into the Lumogroomy Guide 101. Alrighty, so to start off this video, I just wanted to do a really quick introduction to Lumigurumi. So basically, Lumigurumi is a looming style, which is all based off the hook. So all you need for Lumigurumi is literally just bands and a hook, and it's super easy and super fun. So of course, there are so, so many tutorials out there, as you guys can see right here. Um, there's literally like so many, so if you haven't actually understood how to do Lumigurumi, you are missing out so, so much, so that's why I've made this video. And with that introduction all down pat, we can now move on to the hooking process. Okay, so I'm just going to be grabbing one band and obviously having my hook in hand. And basically, and you hold the hook just like this. So you have your hand kind of like here. And then um, your pointer finger ready to loom. Of course, you're going to be using your other hand um, to grab the band. That aside, we're going to be doing a little slip knot. And if you don't know what a slip knot is, it's basically if you have one band. So if we just do a, something like a cat band, let's say, and you grab another band, you're just going to put that on the hook, grab all of these onto the hook, and then after this, so this is kind of just like a cat band on one single band, you're going to put this on the hook again. So because we've just slip knotted this, this is obviously on the hook now, since we put it up there, and we're just going to put that side back on the hook. So now we have two different bands. Well, it's the same band, but it's two different sides of the band. So if this is band one and this is band two, the slip knot action is slipping band one into band two. So how we do that, I'm gonna go super slow. I'm gonna grab that and just turn your hook and slip knot it into the second band. So if we do that again by getting the cat band, or the four bands on the hook, we can do that action again. So you're going to grab one band, put it on your hook, slip knot it through the, th the four bands, the cat bands, like so. You're going to put this back on the hook, and now we're going to slip knot it through that band. So as you can see, we now have two slip knots, if you guys can see that. So that's one slip knot and two slip knots. So this is the first step to making a Lumigroomy design, is making slip knots within a cap band or within a single stitch. And basically a stitch is basically like a cap band. But um, the second step to the Lumigroomy hooking process is basically where you slip knot again. So because we've already slip knotted one band into itself, we're going to slip knot one band into another band. So by doing that, it's super, super simple. So of course, now we have two bands on either side and we're just going to be slipping knot one band into the other, like so. So that's super, super easy. As again, we had two bands and we're just slipping one into the other. And that is basically the hooking process. And we're just kind of starting the magic ring right now. So that's why it looks like this. But that's basically how you do it all the way around. And basically how you start a Luma Grooming design. So of course, um, it's basically slip knotting all the way around um, throughout your stitches or throughout your cat bands um, throughout your design. So basically just slip knotting one band into itself and then slipping two bands together. 
So that is basically the hooking process. So to start off a magic um, ring, it's super, super simple, but just make sure you guys listen carefully and I'll walk you guys through. So get one band, you're gonna put it on your hook, you're gonna wrap it around three times. So just like a cat band, really simple. Put it on your hook, you wrap it around once, the same band, and twice so that there's three hoops. Okay, so as soon as you do that, you're gonna grab one other band. You're gonna put it on your hook such like this, and just and you're just gonna slip knot it through um, all the bands onto this same band. So you're gonna grab all three, and you're gonna just pull through like so, like that. So now that this cap band, which is the start of the magic ring, is on this one single band, you're gonna pull it down and grab this band, which is the other side of the same band, and you're gonna put it on like so. So from here, you're just gonna put it back on the hook. And now, as I mentioned previously in the last section of the video, you're gonna slip knot this. So to make a slip knot, you put the first band into the second band. So slip knotting this first band, by turning the hook sideways and then ducking in and putting it through the second band. So one band, pulling it through and back up like this. So as you can see there's a mini slip knot. Don't pull tight, just keep it um, loose but make sure that it's at least kind of a little bit tight so you can see the slip knot clearly. This is obviously called the magic ring. As you guys can see, there is a little ring or a little circle with, with a hole which is easily seen um, through the cat band. So the cat band is basically the magic ring where we will be starting our design. So now with the hook, we're going on to the second slip knot. So you're going to grab your hook, you're going to pull it and point it downwards. So keeping this band on the hook with your finger, your pointy finger, you're going to push down in to the, to the hole. So basically, you're just going to get the tip of your hook and push it through so that all the cap band is on your hook again. Now you're going to grab one band, again put it on your hook, and we're going on to the next slip knot. So, you're going to grab one band and slip knot it through just the cap band. So this is the cap band, this is the last band that we slip knotted. So just ignore this one, we don't need to worry about this anymore. Just focus on the three bands of right here. So you're going to grab your band, point it downwards, slip knot it. As soon as we slip knot it again, remember, this is on the side, and we're going to put it back on the hook. So from here, just put the other side back on the hook. And now we have to worry about these two bands right here. So we're basically pretending that this is the first band, this collectively is the second band. So you're slip knotting this band into these two bands. So how we do that is basically, again, you point your hook down and you're going to slip knot it through those two bands. So again, one band, first band, into the two bands. Slip knot one into two. Grab one, slip knot it into two. Like that. We do this around six times um, to make a good um, solid magic ring. So again, with the hook, Point it down and put it through the hole, through the magic ring in the center, which is the cat band. So there's three on your hook right now, plus this slip knot that you did previously. Again, grab one band, put it on your hook. You're going to grab just the slip knot and slip it through, just like you're doing a cat band. Like that. So now we have two sides. We're going to put the other side back on the hook, like so. And again, we have the same scenario. we got band one and these two bands, band two. So we're going to slip one into two. So grab the hook, you're going to slip knot one into two. And we're going to keep doing that. So grab the hook, point it downwards into the magic ring. One band, slip knot it through just the magic ring, just the cat band. So now we have two sides, put this side back on the hook, and again we have the same scenario, so one into two, and slip knot one into the two bands, 
And now, we just keep going. So, put it through. The magic ring. So, knot it through. Put this back on the hook. And we're going to slip one into two. Let's do that one more time. Point the band, point the hook into the magic ring. Slip knot it through the magic ring. Put this back on the hook and slip one into two. Like that. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. And how you can tell that is by looking, of course, this is the magic ring, the cat band, which is on. And these are the really baby tiny slip knots all the way around that we've just made. And the stitches here are the V's. So this is a V right here. And you can tell this by um, if you pull them by grabbing two. So it's basically looking like a chain. You grab the two and you can see a hole in there. This is the hole that we loom um, once we actually like, you know, start to do our loomy groomy design. So if there's one V, there's two V, three V, four V, five V, six V. These are called stitches which look like the chains. Um, around the magic ring. So as you can see, we've just made a magic ring. Congratulations. I hope you guys um, understood that. If you didn't, make sure you guys um, just replay. Alrighty, so now with this done, we can move on to increasing and decreasing. <laughs> <laughs>